Nebraska did do some work, however. Let's shift gears to Scott Frost. Uh, there's a safety named Noah Pola Gates who a lot of teams, even Alabama, were interested in. How come? West Coast guy and uh, was an uh, All-American this year and was outstanding at the All-American Bowl. Very athletic kid. You see him here. Makes a lot of plays and coverage. Has a, has a lot of range, but also instincts. Was a kid who found his way to the football, whether it was in the run game or the passing game, and, and had the ball skills of an offensive player. And you see here as well, we can return kicks. So just an all all-around type kid who was recruited as an athlete, but he's going to make a lot of plays in the secondary, I think, for the Huskers. Monumental get for them based on the schools that we're after. Another late get for them is a wide receiver, Demarion Houston. Why should we keep an eye on him? He's a kid who plays much bigger than his listed size. Can go up and get the football, can really run as well. They, they're bringing in some serious speed on the offensive side of the ball. He fits right in with what I think is an outstanding group of receivers. I think he's got one of those guys who just has that natural instinct for making plays, too. You saw some of the one-handed catches, some of the ability in space. They're going to find a lot of ways to use him in their offense. This is a good group for Nebraska. And by the way, the top five players from the state of Nebraska are all going to the Cornhuskers. Frost has said in the past, too many kids from the state are playing at other schools. We need to make sure those kids are here, and he's done it. You look at the last three years combined, five of the total top five guys every year went to Nebraska. They got all five of them this year. Here's what Scott Frost had to say to Damon Benning from back on our first signing day in December. Here with the head man, Coach Frost. Coach, in this recruiting cycle, it was almost business as usual, right? Not a lot of drama. You addressed a lot of needs. How would you assess this class? Uh, really happy with it. The, the thing I'm probably most proud about is we got some really good players, um, but going around and meeting these kids and their families, we got some really good human beings and, and some high character kids that we're going to add to this program. Um, that's one of the secrets, make sure that we have good people around here. Uh, year one, a lot of times you spend a lot of time backfilling and kind of addressing inherited needs. This is your first full recruiting cycle in year two. How'd you like the overall vision as you see this class come together? The vision's headed in the right direction. I, I think our plan for it is working. Uh, we still had holes to fill in this class, and honestly, we won't get quite everything filled to the way we want it until after, probably after next class. But feel great about the guys we got, addressed a lot of needs, and on top of that, got some really fine football players and human beings. Coach, for, since you've gotten here, you said you would get kids that would fit the program, that were about Nebraska and would be part of the Nebraska program. Almost no drama in this recruiting cycle. You, you went and got your guy in Wandale Robinson, and you're going to get a little bit of that with high-end players. But for the most part, you went, you got, you conquered. Is that about how you see this going? Yeah. You know, we're going to go out. We're going to show recruits exactly what we're about. We're going to show them the, the type of atmosphere that they'll play for and the type of people that they'll play for here. Uh, once we get kids on campus, we have a great chance of getting them. Uh, the key is getting them here, getting kids interested enough to come to Lincoln. Um, once they're around our, our group of assistant coaches and people are going to be with them, the right kind of kids are going to want to come here. Now, there's a lot of guys we could talk about with this class. One of them would be the linebacker, Nick Henrich. He's the number one player from the state of Nebraska, the Nader, uh, Nebraska Gatorade Player of the Year. Very highly thought of recruit. But there's so many guys, like you were talking about, on offense with this class. That's kind of where we're going to dive in first right now. And, Howard, there's a guy they got from Kentucky, Wandale Robinson. Yeah, you're already shaking your head about him. <laughs> yeah, he's, he fits what this offense is really about, being able to get players out in space to be able to make plays. He's the number one all-purpose back, you know, really has the ability to make huge plays for this team. You see the acceleration there. He's playing on his high grass, but you still see him being able to make plays. And, and I think that's what you want to be able to do. You see him in, in tight spaces, still able to make guys miss. Guys aren't going to tackle him one-on-one. -on -one. So in this Frost offense, it's going to be him in the slot, getting out there on the edge, and being able to make these kinds of plays. And I think this is what you're really going to be able to see when you watch a play this year. I disagree. Not really. I just <laughs> like saying that. Uh, Dedrick Mills, he's a JC guy. So you recruit a JC guy to play right away. You, you expect him to come in, learn the offense. You, they're usually more mature about the game. And Dedrick is a guy, kind of what you just said, how he fits the spread offense that Nebraska runs. They run a lot of the same plays at the J.C., or they ran a lot, same it to J.C., so he knows some of the cuts. This is a really good get. I'd be surprised if he doesn't contribute right away. That's what J.C. guys do. 
So a lot of the uh, skill guys are going to need some help up front, and that's where Bryce Benhart comes in. He's a kid who measured legitimately almost six foot nine, Ooh, 287 geez. pounds of the All-American Bowl. And, and what's impressive, too, at that size, um, he was an outstanding state champion wrestler. So to be able to get the kind of leverage you need to wrestle at that size shows you what kind of athlete he is. He can bend, obviously very strong and powerful. And when you look at him being six foot nine, 287 pounds, he still has actually a lot of room to add weight, very little bad weight on him. So he's going to be an outstanding player at Nebraska. Jamie Nance, he's he's listed as an athlete. He's a three-star. You can see him here running the wheel route, doing a good job catching the ball. When you're labeled an athlete, you go to a spread team. You can play running back. You can play wide receiver. You can play the slot. And this is probably what Nebraska has in mind if they put him on offense. He's a really good athlete. He runs the punt return back here. So he can do a lot of things, and again, I, I think he's going to be able to do what they need him to do in Scott Frost's offense. Ty Robinson, offensive lineman, 6'5", 283, uh, really has done a lot of good things, plays on both sides of the ball, but I think he ultimately will probably be on the O-line, but I really like what he's able to do. You see just how quick he is off the ball here, doing a good job of getting up the field, but when you have a guy that is this talented, you can kind of make some decisions. Whether you want them on the defensive side or the offensive side, I think that'll be an interesting conversation that these coaches have. Looks to be the first top 20 class for the Nebraska Cornhusters since the year 2007.